issue is considered alternative. But what about if this were to be mainstream and, you know, taking medication became the alternative? So we'd have... See, I like that. I like that because it's almost like addressing the root of the problem. If we know what the root of the problem is, we can get rid of it instead of, in some instances, and I agree with you, there are instances when surgery and medicines are definitely needed, Mm -hmm. uh, but... We always have to know that route, don't you think? 100%. And, you know, you really, um, the word that you used there was getting to the cause. Mm -hmm. Chiropractic seeks to find out what the cause of whatever it is that's going on in your body. And this is why we see so many patients in the practice who come in and are feeling great. You know, why do you need to come in if you're feeling great? Well, it's for your wellness checkup. Right. Because you could potentially have something underlying, something that's called a subluxation happening in your body. And that's interference in how the brain and the body communicate, but you could still feel okay. Yes. But yet, we, what do most of us do? We base our health just on how we're feeling. Right. Now, that's true. And, you know, you're, you're speaking, and I, my specialty is the foot and ankle. Mm-hmm. And we always tell patients, they come in, and they're, uh, they're, they're orthopedics, for yeah. example, or even a chiropractor sometimes will, will refer them to us because their knee or their hip or their back helps. And what we do is we put them in orthotics. It, everything is connected. Mm-hmm. You, you agree with that? A hundred percent. So wouldn't it be better and more beneficial to all the patients and all the people who needed that if they went for a healthier or wellness checkup prior to having an issue, an ache, a complaint, or a concern, Mm -hmm. where now you have to pick up the pieces of having damage and injury, if everybody went for wellness checkups and health checkups prior to all of that, think how much healthier the community and our society would be, and think about the long-term effects of how many less people we'd have taking medications and needing surgeries because, you know, people did things right from the very beginning. Right. So uh, what I'm hearing from you, and I concur with this, is prevention. Yes. (laughs) Prevention is the, the best medicine for sure.